Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Sign Terra. I hope everyone is well. I am under the wire this month. Wow, am I under the wire. Oh. Anyway, for those of you who are new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're throwing down cards for October, and I have about a day and a half to get 10 signs done, so I'm just going to cut right to the chase. All right. And as usual, I'm not making decisions. I'm letting the cards do that. These cards have been pre-shuffled. I don't know who's next. I have no idea. Leo, it's your turn. Hmm. Right there so you can see it. Okay. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your other placements, your moon, your rising, your Venus, if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. So if it's not resonating, it's not your story, don't take it with you. Just leave it behind. Okay? Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can, and maybe vice versa, might play from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And cross-watchers, as usual, are always welcome. Let's throw them down. Okay. And I've probably drank close to a uh, half a pot of coffee already this morning. So if I'm a little jittery and blah, that's why. Okay. Just so everybody's aware. <laughs> Leo, why are you here? Three of wands in the reverse. Okay. Not waiting around for something. Apparently, you are walking away from the dock. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Okay. You're dealing with somebody new. That's a good thing. Ace of Pentacles. You definitely feel like the seeds of abundance have been planted. And you're willing to take it slow and let things grow. That's amazing. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Queen of Swords. Hmm. You kind of see them as maybe having a little bit of an attitude problem. Hmm. Okay. Maybe they're a little cold. Maybe they're a little icy. Hmm. Huh? from them. Knight of Wands in the reverse. You want a commitment. Leo, why do you confuse me? Are you dealing with someone new or someone old? You're walking away from the dock. You think they have a bad attitude, but you want to commit. But you know the seas of abundance are growing slowly. Why do you confuse me? How do they feel about you? Two of Cups. Okay. Th they're acknowledging a connection. Okay. Usually the Two of Cups ind indicates a new connection or a possibly immature connection, but connection nonetheless. What do they think of you? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They're, see, that's a little bit of mirroring. A little bit. Five of Pentacles reversed talks about coming in out of the cold. You see them as having a bad attitude. They see you as constantly trying to come in out of the cold. What do they want from you? Six of Pentacles. They want things to be equal. They want it to be an equal give and take relationship. Okay. Ah. What's the obstacle here? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups in the reverse. The obstacle is a return. So potentially y'all are in separation, 
somebody walked away from the dock. I'm thinking it was you. It may have been them. It may have been a little bit of both. Maybe you were both standing at the dock and you just kind of walked away from each other potentially. All right, what's the potential resolution? King of Pentacles. Self-worth, self-assurance, abundance. Realizing each other for the catch that you are, maybe? Maybe you got to realize something. Maybe they got to realize something. Somebody's got to wake up and realize something from what I'm seeing here, Leo. Let me save this for the end. Let's get a little bit of clarity. <sighs> Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get a little clarity on the cards in the table for Leo, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 2020. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, thank you. I didn't ask a question yet, but okay. Four of Pentacles. You're walking away from the dock, but you're still holding on. Hmm, okay. All right, Make some, okay. Universe, please explain this Ace of Pentacles to me. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for how Leo feels about the person that they are dealing with? Five of Wands upright, Queen of Wands reversed. All right. It's a slow growing seed. It has the potential to be something wonderful and abundant, but it's, it's a long, treacherous walk to that 10. There's just still nine pentacles missing. Five of wands there. You could be dealing with a fire sign, another fire sign could be another Leo. These are both cards of Leo. Queen of Wands in the reverse, it can indicate, oh, I'll just say it, problems in the bedroom, there's confrontation, it's confrontational energy surrounding this slow-growing seed. You might be dealing with someone new, I'm catching a vibe that a lot of you are still dealing with someone old, you're still hanging on to somebody. Maybe it was a do-over situation. Hmm. I don't get it, guys. What is going on? Why is the Queen of Swords first here? For how Leo thinks of the other person? What Leo thinks of the other person? Of course you fell on the floor. Why wouldn't you fall on the floor? Tower reversed. They have a sour attitude about rebuilding this tower. Tower's already done falling here. I don't get it, guys. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Maybe the person you're dealing with has some playaways and you want them to stop their playaways. Okay, it landed like this. I'll flip it up. Seven of Swords reverse popped out. Stop the player ways, stop the BS. Honesty in the relationship, honesty in communication. They would want the lies to be done. Maybe somebody's sneaking around and you just want it done. One more. 
three of cups in the reverse. This could be a third party situation. And in the and in the player ways, that's how I'm seeing that. Somebody's sneaking around. For some of you. Don't go accusing somebody of sneaking around on you when they're not. If it's not resonating with you, if it's not, if it's not your story, walk away from it. Take the pieces that resonate and leave the ones that do not. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here for other, how the other person feels about Leo? Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yes, there is a connection. Yes, there is emotion there. They do not feel... They don't feel the abundance. They don't feel the happy ending coming. Perhaps there's money issues. That was part of the breakdown. Potentially. I'm not going to throw another one on that. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here for her, what the other person thinks of Leo? Moon reversed. One more. One more, just for a little bit more clarity, just so I don't misstep this. Ace of Swords. Mm. Truth. They think you're trying to come out of the cold and truth is finally coming out. The Ace of Swords, that's a sort of new communication, new truths. Same situation. But the, with the moon reversed, it's truth. Truth coming out. You, you're trying to come out of the cold in their eyes by saying what's really up and what's really going on. Okay. Wow. Whoa. They want Six of Pentacles. They want things to be equal and even. Okay. Throw one on that. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for what the other person wants from Leo? Of Leo? For Leo? Magician reversed. side reversed. They want things to be equal. They want things to be even. They don't want manipulation. They don't want the pulling of puppet strings. They want, they want to disconnect from the bad crap in this connection with the shadow side reversed. I feel toxicity in this connection. Wow, Leo. What kind of a hornet's nest have you stepped into? Somebody in this connection's... Uh, I'm feeling a little narcissism here. Like somebody doesn't want to own their stuff. Clearly, somebody's been misbehaving. 
and somebody thinks that their misbehaving is justified. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, the obstacle is an Eight of Cups reversed. The obstacle is getting back to that place. Why is Eight of Cups reversed here? Chariot. You're not going in the same direction. Obviously. Somebody's walking away from the dock, but they're holding on to the emotions and the feelings and the connection because they still see it as abundant and the other person's willing to acknowledge a connection, but at the same time, they don't see it as going anywhere. They don't see it as abundant. You're not going in the same direction. I'm not throwing another one on that. I'm not going to beat that dead horse. Or those, those horses, you know. Obviously, they're not dead in the depiction, but you get what I mean. Why is the King of Pentacles here with a possible resolution? I hate it when they do that. This is how you landed. This is how I will flip you over. Nine of Cups. Self-happiness, self-abundance, self-love. For some of you, that King of Pentacles can be seeing yourself as the catch that you know you are. For some of you, it could be seeing the other person as the catch that they are. But ultimately, it boils down to what fills your cups. What makes you happy. Doing what is best for you. Is staying in a toxic connection best for you? You have to ask yourself that. What's your happiness worth? What's your definition of abundance? I can have a big old house full of stuff and a bank account full of money, but if I'm not happy, what's it worth? If I have 10 pentacles stacked up to the ceiling, but I got 10 spilt cups on the floor, what's the point? What's the point if you're not happy? You gotta ask yourself that. So the resolution is doing what's best for you and what makes you happy. One more. High Priestess Reverse. That is a loaded card. Doing what is best for you and what makes you happy and not allowing your ego to get in the way. Because that ego is that thing that helps us manifest what we think we want but don't really want. It's what makes us all tongue-tied when we're talking to the universe. Get what I'm saying? I get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying, let me know. All right. Potential outcome. You remember that long walk to 10 Pentacles I was talking about a few minutes ago? And doing what's best for you? 
and what makes you happy. I want you to think of long-term happiness when you think of that. Not necessarily what makes you happy right now, but what's going to make you happy down the road. Because sometimes that long walk means we have to make decisions that are best for us that aren't necessarily going to make us happy. So there's a way to avoid this Five of Cups. One on the Five of Cups, please. Three of Wands reversed. You're walking away from the dock. I mean, it could be you, it could be them. All things being vice versa and fair. It's your journey. Do what you want. All things circle back. It's the cool thing about the journey. There's no wrong forks. All paths lead to the same destination. It's just how you want your journey to go. Let's get some advice from my friends. death in the upright, temperance in the reverse. You must be patient with your own evolution. There's a soul lesson here, friends. It's, it, this is a deep soul lesson. You have to be patient with your journey. And just because the universe isn't giving you what you think you want right now, the universe knows better. But the universe also has the power to say, well, you said you wanted it. Here you go. It's your journey. Not, not, not his or theirs. Pick your pronoun. It's yours. Do what you will with it. But you got to be patient because impatience causes us to manifest things that turns out we didn't want it. Five of Cups have reversed and the world reversed. <sighs> Not sure who this is for, but we'll run with it. Until you come to terms with the emotions involved with this and release them and let them go, the cycle doesn't end. And you just keep going round and round in the same circle over and over again. Leo, we've talked about this. We've talked about the merry-go-round thing. You're the one in control of your journey. Not the other person. Unless you give them power over your puppet strings. You're the one in control. So, it's your choice to do whatever you're going to do. Leo... My fire sign brothers and sisters, this is what I have for you for the month of October. Thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Much love. Be blessed. 
We'll catch you Friday for the weekend top and bottom. We'll catch you in a couple of weeks for either the second half of October or the November. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still kind of flying by the seat of my pants with that. And just a quick note for those of you who have asked for a personal reading for whatever reason, a lot of messages went to the spam box and I'm still trying to sort them out. So if you requested one and did not receive an email back, just email me again and we'll see what we can set up because I am still open for that. So take care. Catch you later.